been wanting to do this for such a long time. <laughs> we finally got the live done and a van tour on the same day. Oh my God. Got a beautiful sunset going to be happening here real soon. Yeah, we may end with that. It's just going to be gorgeous. Hey, I'm Danny, and um, I have a channel on YouTube called You and Me Living Free. And um, I've known Jan here for a little, a little while, for over a year. Yeah, a little, year and a half, more than that. We've even, camped actually. together. We have camped together before. I was out on the road for about a year and a half, and um, but I had to come, you know, back home and get a job. I'm just not quite ready for retirement or anything yet. I've got another probably ten years or so. That's okay. She's not a senior lady like me. <laughs> so, um, but um, I've been bit by by the bug, and so. I, I came into a little money. I was saving a lot of money and I was just like a lot of people after the pandemic, I was just ready for something new in life, you know, something. And I was looking at tiny houses and I found Bob Wells and I, and I discovered van life. And so I had that dream and I set out on the road. And so I bought a year of my life and just took off and then took a chance. And then I went back to Kansas City, got a job. Now I'm on vacation. I do have at least have a job that has, I get six weeks a week, six weeks a year vacation. So more vacation. So I could come back here to Quartzsite because this is the third time in Quartzsite and Quartzsite kind of feels like home and I get to see all my friends and it's just so great for RVers and van life people and everything here and I love the RTR and Bob Wells. So um, I'm here and the long-term plan is to get back on the road, uh, maybe remote work, something like that, but we'll, we'll see one day at a time. But that's the plan because once I get out here, I was very, very clear that this is what I want to do. And, and what you'll see in my van is just, it's, it's such a basic setup that I just feel like it's very encouraging to most people who aren't sure if they can start or have very little to start or whatever. It's very minimalistic. There's hardly any build or anything. Um, so, so let's, let's just do let's it. Just do it. Just like starting from the passenger seat, like I just like to keep it kind of pretty clean. All I have here is my charger for my Jackery. So if I'm having a drive day, I plug it right in. The thing about the van life thing is just having you, having access to what you need when you need it, right? Mm -hmm. And if you need to have it handy or if you need to be able to dig or whatever, it's all a matter of how you live and how you how you do things. Right. So I keep that pretty pretty clear, right? But this is my main entrance to the van. And I mean, very simply, this is how I would normally be if I wasn't in my if I wasn't in my seat. So I designed my bed so that I can sit up tall. I'm almost 5'10. So I can play have plenty of room. I have six inches of memory foam under here. So there is plenty of comfort. Even though I'm in a bigger body, it is tons of support and comfort. I built my bed on with two by fours and a piece of plywood. So all of that, very easy. I've got my down because we're down in the 40s overnight and my little Sherpa keeps me warm. Every single peg of support leg under this bed is a different length because yeah. my my floor is not completely leveled because I have no carpentry experience had no tools none of that and so I I I have a whole video on like how I did my floor but they're all different levels so it's mostly like 10 12 inches or so mm -hmm. and I do keep my primary storage under here and would it help if, if I just do this here is just eating. I have my utensils, I have my cups and everything. This is how I do my hair in the morning, a little squirt bottle with some water. Here's my dish soap. So that is like the basics of utensils and stuff. Here is the basics of cooking. And actually, usually when I use this, I'm just sitting right here and I just pull it right out and I have everything I need. I have all my pans, I have all my utensils, my everything that I need. My cutting board is under here. Um, all of that. Usually I'll have my cooler. So again, very low techy techy. Uh, nothing much to it, but my cooler will usually be right here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my usual little table that I use. And then over here, I have all my things that I need for just personal hygiene, taking my showers, my towel for showers, all of my, you know, toothbrush and everything that you need for daily life. Mm -hmm. Here is my toilet. This is my just fold out um, toilet seat. 
Yep. Where everybody use, wants to know how that works. Everybody does, and it's the simplest thing in the world for me. And I then you it. just extend the legs and put it that's up right, right there where it and is. And I put it right there. And that's it. exactly where it goes. Mm -hmm. And it stays there all night. And here is my trash. Here's everything I need to go to the bathroom. I have my my bags. I have my toilet paper. I have my... If I want to take my liquid and make it into a gel, it's called poo powder. Poo powder, yes. <laughs> it's, it's so easy. And then yeah. I just have my, I have my extras back in there. But yeah. um, here's all my window coverings. And again, they are just like everything. They're super basic. They've been torn up over the last couple of years, but they yeah. still function Mine too. perfectly fine. And they help a lot. They insulate, they keep me warm, they keep me cool, and they keep me private and, and stealthy. So I love that. Um, I wouldn't be anywhere without my Lucy light. A Lucy just, light. You know, it's just a given. You, ha I think you have to have a Lucy light. I have this one too. I have this little light too, but it's just, it's more direct. Like if I want to read or something, but the Lucy light just for regular. Are both lighting. of those solar? Um, the Lucy light is solar. The Lucy light is solar. This one has a little uh, USB cord, so you so can it's plug it in and rechargeable. And then um, for mood lighting, I have my little candle and it has I a remote those. control I love with those. the different colors and stuff. So I like to have different lighting, you know, for different mm. stuff. I know a lot of people who have like maybe a whole thing of drawers here or something. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I just, there is nothing in here that is wasted and everything that I need, like at just to be able to grab, I literally have right here. So from everything from bug spray, which I don't need in quartzite, these wipes right here, easy to hand. So now my eyes are getting worse. So get magnifying <laughs> glass. Magnifying glass. Yes. I'm gonna need some glasses, but scissors, like all the basics right mm -hmm. here. Even behind this, I have my first aid um, um, Yeah, there's kit. a pocket back there. There's, you I know, know if there's I'm no it very wasted there's a pocket. space. Yeah. There's no wasted space at all. I've got a little pocket, I put that. I have one gallon that I just use all the time. And then my backups are right back here. I have two uh -huh. of these. Two of those. Um, I don't have the big five. These are three. two and a half gallons. Okay. If I fill it all the way, it can be almost three. Mm -hmm. And, but I can lift this. Yes. So I That's can't get key. a five gallon because I can't, I just throw these things around like, you know, they're easy. Easy. And so back here, I have again, what I need that is handy. So anything like my pajamas and my slippers, any kind of clarity clothes that maybe I've worn that I'm going to wear again. Those are things I need to be handy. Um, my fan, I throw my fan in there if I'm going to drive anywhere because it knocks around. Right. This is my drying rack. I did I did dishes earlier. Um, these are the washcloths I use, and I'm telling you, these are one of the best van life purchases. They're like these cheap little things, but they're kind of scratchy, but they dry so fast. Yes, indeed. So anything that you're going to get wet, wet, I have the dry material, or I just have like... These have all these little holes in them, so they're really perfect and everything just dries super quick up there. Yep. Here I have clothes. This is all that I'm wearing right, you know, this is all the stuff I'm gonna be wearing in the next few days. I have all my underwear, socks, everything here so that I have it all together and in this little, nice little travel compartment. And then just my clothes and shoes and everything. Extra shoes, extra warm weather sweatshirts, extra clothes for when those are dirty are there. And then I have another bin at the very bottom and that is just even extra stuff. If I need my extra down blanket or a down coat or something like that, that I don't need to access very often, but I might need to pull out, then I pull it out. So are your seats folded down or are they missing? They're gone, oh, they're gone. gone. Good for you. Yep, totally gone. I figured if I, I will just drive this until it dies, mm -hmm. or I'll give it to someone else who's doing the van life, mm -hmm. you know. Um, this is my food. This is my dry goods stuff food uh -huh. um, that I have. And then um, I have the cooler for wet stuff. This is all the extras of the things that I might need, but probably not. Like I have paper towels where they go, but these are my extras. Mm -hmm. I have extra tissue, extra butane, extra towels, extra everything back here. So this is my extra bin. And then underneath that is one more bin and it is really for um, like my garage. Right. Like it has my, things. it has my jumper cable, not cables, but you know, my, 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 I can jump myself, right? I don't need jumper cables. I just have that little thing where I can jump myself in the far back. I have a, um, 
I have a little tent. So if I am um, boondocking by myself and I want to save my spot, I put up that little one-man pop-up tent and put a rock in the middle and save my spot that way. And behind that, I also have my Jackery solar panel, um, which is all I ever really use. And it's only like, I don't know, 100 watts or something. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't use the Jackery for much. I carry my computer. Again, no wasted space. So even right. behind this, I have my... I have more window covers for the front. Mm -hmm. um, some people don't have that. I don't know how they get by without it. I didn't like having the curtain here. Some yeah, people me love either. it. That I don't work like for it. Me. I took out my middle console so that mm -hmm. I could get from front to back. That's and good. That's a security thing for me, and it just makes me feel comfortable. I can, if it's raining or whatever, I don't have to get out. Mm -hmm. And then I keep my purse here. I keep my computer right down here in my book bag. So this is all I have. All, I have my computer here. I have my phone. I have my fan. I have a Kindle and a um, Fitbit and an electric toothbrush. And um, I also have a little um, heating pad if I need to. And it all just, I've been using it for two days on this and I'm at 81% power. Amazing. So, and this is what size again? This is just the 240. 240. So this is one of the really small ones. Mm -hmm. Now, if I had it to do again, I might get a bigger one and go ahead and get a refrigerator. Yeah. But that's a whole next phase. Yeah, that's, that's, the next phase that's when you all subscribe to her channel and watch her <laughs> videos <laughs> all the way through. Put them on and just run them so she can get monetized <laughs> enough. She's already monetized, right? I am, yeah. Yeah, so every time you watch it, you're helping to pay Danny so we can get her on the road full time so again because that's her <laughs> dream. <laughs> Sometimes I cook inside. If I feel like it or if the weather is bad or whatever, I just roll down my window and I cook inside. And I, I do have a whole video about that because some people, you know, don't like it or can't imagine seeing what it looks like. But when you have everything you need right here, and I just kind of like, I do a little prep area over here, mm -hmm. you know, and, and set out a lid and set out a couple, you know, um, plates or whatever, get everything out that I need, Means and then I'll gloss. use, and then I'll use this, or I'll use this even with the tablecloth over it, yeah. because you know we keep everything so we just always wiping down and everything. It's all, it's all working good. But I do it just right here mm -hmm. by the by the door, and so I'll either have the door open, or I will have it closed with the window down and just cook. All I have is a one burner, so I keep my food really simple. I do a lot of um, those like prepackaged um, salads. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. I try to go to Cracker Barrel on my way here, so I'll try to get them. Mm -hmm. But I love these little salads, and I'll mm -hmm. eat a whole one with a little bit of meat in it or some cheese in it or something. The cooler works pretty well until you're in the middle of summer, but even then, I'm at elevation because I'm not going to be real hot in the van. Mm -hmm. It's not my Me thing. Mm -hmm. so, so the cooler does work really well, but I would love to have a fridge in the next in the next setup look at the room that she's got in here i mean seriously yeah. she can travel and do everything she needs right here with plenty of room that's called minimalist you've done a yeah. great job of that <laughs> <laughs> go watch danny's channel i will put a link below to you and me living free she's very inspirational so just start at the beginning of hers <laughs> start at her first videos <laughs> and watch her change and her lot. skills and talents grow it's very inspirational thank you so much danny thank you jan